to the Benita Show. Well, I am Benita, and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Well, it's girls' night, woo woo! And I am excited, I'm excited, number one, that I get to take a break. So I'm just gonna be that fly on the wall, and I'm gonna tip out of here, and we're gonna see what the queens have to say. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back! Watch Benita on demand. Subscribe on YouTube at The Benita Talk Show. Catch season one and more of season two. Hello, everyone. Hello, ladies. Hey. And welcome to Ladies Night on The Benita Show. I'm so happy to be here tonight with my girls. I'm so excited that you decided to join with us on tonight. Yes. So we're just gonna quickly introduce ourselves. I'm Bree. I'm Janaya. I'm Paige. I'm Courtney. I'm Nikayla. I'm Erica. Christian. All right, ladies, let's get into it. So it's nothing like sitting on the couch with your girls. And so right. we have an opportunity to show us some real, our real personalities, right. who we are, yes. and we have some good table talk yes. questions. Are y'all ready to get into it? Absolutely. Yes. All right, Let's do it. so here's the rules. We're all gonna be real tonight, no cap. We're gonna give our good <laughs> Y'all ready for this? All right. Y'all know, we don't know what these questions are. No, all right. No, no, no. So this is a good starter. So it is, who in your life inspires you to be better? So tell us who in your life just, um, inspires you to be better. I guess I can take that one. Um, I would say my mom inspires me to be better. Um, I followed in her footsteps from a professional standpoint. And to me, she's the GOAT. So why yeah. would I not yes. want to be like my mom? Yes. Awesome. I like that. Yeah. Anybody have somebody that's like not their mom? Because I feel like you know, everybody's like, oh, my mom, my yeah. mom. All right, who can give us somebody that's not their actual biological mom that inspires you to be better? Absolutely. I can speak to my first lady, Benita yes. Shelby. Yes. 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 The, talk show, yes. the CEO. Yes. She is my mentor, my inspiration, my role model. She just got it all together. And I'm trying to be like her when I grow up. Okay? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> right. She has so much balance in like business and yeah. being a mother, being a wife. She just has it all. Right. Why not have it all? Get the yeah. book. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Get the book. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um, she inspires me to have it all, to yeah. obtain everything that I desire to achieve. So that is definitely my role model. Absolutely. Y'all yeah. know what's going to be crazy, Court? Like, yeah. we're now about to be like the aunties, and I we're about know. to be the people that are inspiring <laughs> the other people, the right. generation yeah. to be better. Like, some I'll of us, be ready. yeah. And then <laughs> you're looking at people who already are, yeah, like yourself and, and you. Paige and everybody, yeah. every lady on this couch. Yes. I'm 100% sure. Like, we're already something? there. Yeah. Right. yeah. Already wow. there to inspire Absolutely. people. No pressure, though, right? Right. right. No pressure. But you know, one thing about inspiration, though, inspiration, you can be inspired by the little things. Right. And like, not even a person, but you can be inspired. I can be inspired by one of my students in my classroom. Right. Like, yeah. inspiration has no limits. It doesn't yeah. have an age cap on it. You know, that's right. one, that's the beautiful thing about being inspired. I can be inspired by looking at a picture on the wall mm -hmm. and yeah. be like, wow, that has inspired me in my creative um, flow of what I want to mm -hmm. do. So, inspiration is a beautiful thing. It yeah. is. And even your friendships. Absolutely. Right? So, yeah. like, our friends inspire us, too. Because if I see you doing good, you doing mm -hmm. your thing, like, Absolutely. I got to set my game up, too. Because that's right. It motivates you. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yes. All right, who's going to pull the next card? I guess I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is pretty cool. This one is the deep one, so we're going to go deep really okay. quick. Um, this one says, what's the most surprising self-realization you've had? What is the mm -hmm. most surprising self-realization that you've had in your life? That's a good question. I yeah. hate that one. Okay. okay. So I guess lately I have realized by myself that I... I actually pour more into like those around me and the ones that I love and I want to see them grow, grow, grow. And I don't always pour that back into myself, right? So I don't ever take the time to put that same 100% level for the things that I want to do or my mm -hmm. goals and my aspirations. But because I'm always like, oh, I want to do this. My Oh, my girl, mm -hmm. she doing this, this. I want to make sure she do it. And I don't ever do that for myself. So lately, yeah. I've just been trying to pour back into myself to do the things that I want to do you know, go after where I see myself and yeah. just taking time to really pour it into Paige, you know? So Absolutely. Yeah. Pour into Paige. Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Yeah. So, so Paige, what is one thing you did this week 
that you did to commit to yourself that you poured back into yourself? Um, I did a lot of self-care, actually. Okay. So I took some Thanks. time to pour into myself mentally, um, making sure that I was mentally okay for this season that I'm in, mm -hmm. instead of catching up on everybody else in my life to make sure, hey, are you okay? I kind of right. pulled back a little bit just That's to good. make sure that I was okay and to pour into myself mentally and spiritually because mm -hmm. they work hand in hand right. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. So you got to make sure yeah. you're dealing with something up here and make sure your spirit is equipped too to deal with that. So I've just took a little time for patience the last week. Good. I love that. Good. I love that. Yes. Anybody else got one? I guess for me, I don't give myself enough credit Mm. for things that I accomplish or even the small things, um, I am very hard on myself. Yeah. Very, very hard on myself. So I'm learning to give myself grace okay. and to be patient with me because everything becomes beautiful in its time. So yeah. right. All right, uh-uh, keep that mic. <laughs> Tell us one brag moment. You have 10 seconds to brag about yourself. Oh, give it to the that. people. Yeah. I graduate in December with my, with my master's degree. So, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's I think good. that's probably the biggest thing I got right now. But, yeah. Beautiful. I love that. All right, Michaela, we love see, it. We see it. Erica, pull a card. Yes, let's see what's T. This good, y'all. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you during a date? <laughs> the a date? most embarrassing uh, thing. I, I, I Oh, I, <laughs> it's real okay. quiet on the set. I can't. Even, I can't answer it. <laughs> what? I, 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 I haven't had a date, y'all. You have. That's all right, girl. Wait, it's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's on the way. Yeah, we got to hook Paige up. Oh my god. Okay, so we're we're gonna we're gonna have to come back to that one okay. because okay. we are getting ready to go on a commercial break. But so don't go anywhere because this is about to be. Juicy. Real juicy, Some things, juicy right? stuff happening <laughs> right here. Like, we love that. All right, you all, we are going to a commercial. We'll be right back. Don't touch that guy. Coming up on Bonita. Do you love a good book? Well, I'm an author, and I have penned four wonderful books that I want you to go to my website and order. The first book is Why Not Have It All. It's a book about spiritual balance and fulfillment. My second book is The Praise Place, speaking of praise as a place of residence where you belong. The third book is a children's book entitled My Mirror and Me, and it speaks to confidence getting our children to a place of confidence and knowing who they are at an early age. My fourth book is the Blood Prayer Pocket Guide. It's a guide that you can pray this powerful prayer that you've seen my commercials, that you can keep this pocket guide in your purse, pull it out and pray the prayer verbatim. Well, I encourage you go to my website, BonitaAndreaShelby.com and order your book today. Hello, my name is Bishop Don William Shelby Jr. and I am the pastor of the Burning Bush International Ministries Church of God in Christ, the church with the fire that never goes out. I'm going to go to the jailhouse, go to the jailhouse, go to the hospital, go to the hospital. You gotta hold on. Manipulates time. Ha. Look at your neighbor ha. and say, neighbor, ha. God manipulates time. T nine eight five ha. four three two ha. one. Ha. It start all over again. Here at Burning Bush, it is a different church than any other church you've been to here in the state of Michigan. As a matter of fact, I can even say any church in the whole wide world because this is the church with the fire that never goes out. We have service every Sunday here at 10 a.m. And I'm here to tell you, 
My dear brothers and sisters, no Sunday is the same. Every Sunday, you can expect something powerful to happen right here in Jesus' name. And then on Tuesday night, Bible study in person at 7 p.m., one hour. One hour power, you certainly don't want to miss it. And you know what? If you are one of those who um, are not from the state of Michigan, but you're happening to um, fly into the Detroit airport, well, you know what? Our church is so conveniently located. We're only about seven minutes, a seven minute drive from the Detroit airport here to the Burning Bush Church of God in Christ. And so again, I want to invite you, be my special guest this coming Sunday. Well, you know what? You can be my guest and Lady Shelby's guest and the Shelby Fives guest and the entire Burning Bush family guest this coming Sunday. Whenever you can, meet us at Burning Bush, 10 a.m. every Sunday morning. God bless. You're covered by the blood. You better push and yeah. pray. Go, you better go, pray go. right now. Go. And you better apply yeah. the blood yeah. to your house. Yeah. We command Hadi. Yeah. We command rain oh, to us. We command you to yeah. try yeah. by the power yeah. of God. We command thyroid. Yeah. Thyroid conditions yeah. to lose your hope. Yeah. Hello, my name is Bishop Don Shelby. I am the husband of Benita Shelby, the wonderful host of the Benita Talk Show. My purpose for coming to talk to you is to ask of you if you would be willing to be a sponsor for the Benita Talk Show. Now, quite obviously, I am a sponsor and I'm doing it because I believe in what she's doing. Because what she's doing here on this program is what she does in real life every day. It's not a put on. It's not a front. This is coming from the heart. The people that you see, these are not actors. These are real people who are part of her life in some way, form or fashion. And you know what? We need to make sure that we can do whatever we can to make sure that Benita Andrea Shelby stays a part of as many people's lives as we can. Your support, your help, your donation and your prayers will help bring that to pass. Now, all the information is at the bottom of the screen. Please pray about this to support this program. I'm supporting it. I'm behind it 110%, and I ask that you would do all that you can to keep this program on air. Thank you. Previously on Bonita. I'm a son, you know, and now uncles, right? <laughs> but my world gets a lot smaller, meaning it gets a lot more focused. Love that. Um, I still care about, man, I got so many people I care about, but I can't be overly consumed with the masses. I let them come along for the ride. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, hey, good, you know, bro. if you're with me, man, like if we take this journey with me, but I don't have, I can't, I can't compromise like all that I have going on right. wow. to right. please everybody. That's, you right. know what I'm That's good. You know what? What I love about all of y'all answers is um, Christ is still at the forefront of your life. Mm -hmm. Every answer that you had was all centered around almost, I don't know if you guys remember the bracelets they had, what would Jesus do? And all of your answers is pretty yeah. much centered around what would Jesus do if he was living in our day and our time, mm -hmm. in the barbershop, on the road, being an assistant pastor, being a sister pastor. Um, Tyrone, Tyrone, you just had an incredible live recording Thank about a week you. ago, which we're super excited you. about. Hey. Um, when it comes to creating, you know, um, music is one of the biggest influential things of this earth. I mean, everybody listens to music every day. They say it's a universal language. How do you set yourself apart to understand that the music that you create has purpose? It's to change lives, it's to inspire, it's to bring people out of a rut. It's it's to um, really build their faith up. It's Christian music. Like it's the biggest, all other music is entertainment. Yeah. That's strictly what it's for is entertainment. But Christian music has a purpose. Tell me about how do you navigate all of that? Um, 
Well, it's almost like I try the music out in life. Mm -hmm. Like the songs are birthed out of experience. Um, and I, a lot of times I get it in prayer time. That's mo mostly where I get all the songs from, prayer time. Um, and just gospel music is the good news. So you have to have something that you can tell people, hey, I've been through that. Um, I've said it so many times about my testimony, about me being in the mental institution mm -hmm. and how God, God brought me out. Mm -hmm. I right. sing about that Thank because I know so many people who are still in that situation right. Right. and I could be, you know? Yes, so sir. I tried out the songs and I lived them and that's how they work. So that's how I'm able to give the song. Yes, Welcome back, ladies, to Ladies Night yeah. on the Benita yes. Andrea Show. Yes. We are just getting into some good girl talk. Absolutely. I hope you all are enjoying at home because I am enjoying time with my sisters. Yes. So, y'all, we left off on a question about the most embarrassing thing that happened on a date. And so, I, okay, so it wasn't embarrassing to, like, it wasn't me, but, like, the person. So, like, I'm a person that when I go places, like, you have to like match the tone of the room. Right. And so we were like at Starbucks, right? We were on like a coffee date, just something real light. And this man, y'all, was so loud. I was so <laughs> uncomfortable. And he was just like over, and people are in there like studying. It's like Saturday morning. Right. And this man is just loud and just doing too much. Like, has somebody ever embarrassed you out? Like, yeah, you yeah, did yeah, things? Yeah, or they yeah, just, yeah. his hands was ashy. No, like, oh, no. it was crusty, oh, dusty, y'all. Oh, I'm not even getting like, even, like, even that like outfit. Like, like, you are, mm. like, you are a young man. You got on these, like, you are a young man. man. You are a young baggy <laughs> church pants. What did you do? What you do? Y'all, I was was out of there in 15 minutes. No, 15 minutes. That's I got my coffee yeah. and left. Died a death. And this, this okay. is so exactly why you don't go on these five star dates so super quick because you don't, you never know how it's gonna happen. Right. Uh, so did you talk to him after the date, or you were not. like, you were just <laughs> <laughs> okay? Speaking of black, do y'all do y'all? This not the question. Do y'all ghost people, or do y'all like give them an explanation like, hey? I'm just gonna like move on with other opportunities. Yeah. What do y'all do? See, I'm an over communicator. So mm -hmm. I feel like I, I owe you an explanation. I don't know mm -hmm. why I feel like that, but I just feel like it's just a better <laughs> thing to do. Right. Like, I, 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 I want to be considerate. Yeah, yeah, I want to be considerate of you, and your feelings, too. wherever you're at. I don't agree. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Go, why, girl? It depends on who the person is. Yeah. If yeah. True. that's just the first date and I don't like it, bye. Right. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. if don't owe nobody you a don't. thing. But if it's something long term, like if we went on more than one date, yeah. possibly. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But you know what? Somebody told me a long time ago some advice that if you if you don't give a person an opportunity to fix it or give them that feedback, then like you'll yeah. just go from like ghost to ghost to ghost. Yeah. So sometimes yeah. you do have to kind of weigh in, is it worth giving somebody the feedback and giving them a chance to fix it? Absolutely. That's true. Block. Let's get another question. Literally. Okay. So this uh, question says, what is a mistake people often make about you? People think mm. I'm shy. Really? Mm. You're shy? I'm not. You're the TikTok queen. Oh, okay. TikTok well, queen is, is crazy. So why, do you think, <laughs> why do you think people think that you're shy? Well, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. But I'm just really quiet now. Mm -hmm. So, but like when I know you, I'm a lot louder and a lot more like outgoing and things like right. that. But it just takes me a minute to like warm up to people. Absolutely. Yeah. But I mean... All is fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, once we get there, we're having a great time. Absolutely. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Anybody else? What would you say? Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? I want to hear from Erica. Yeah. I just spoke. I know, but you just literally just said one little thing. I need, I need some more from you tonight. What's the question? What, um, what is one mistake? Yeah, what is one mistake that people often make about you? Mm. I think sometimes they could think I'm bougie or I'm stuck up. Can I? Um, maybe I can it's see like that. my facial expressions or something. I'm not sure, but <laughs> yeah, I'm goofy. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think that this is the beauty of like when you get to know someone, that's the, like the beauty of like not judging yeah. someone by how they look all the time or what mm -hmm. you assume. I think our my dad, Bishop Shelby, talked about yeah. the uh the false, false assumptions. Yes. Like yes. people would say see one thing about you and they would run oh, with it. Right. And they don't and even have friends. and tell their yep. friends, tell their friends, tell their friend, and then just be like someone totally different. Like right. for example, like with me being a PK, 
a lot of people automatically assume with being a pastor's kid that we automatically feel entitled and we don't work and we just think we have a silver spoon in our mouth and things yeah. like that. And I work for every single thing that I do. Like, obviously, because yeah. of my parents, right. I have certain wider ways and I'm blessed in that area, but I work a job. Right. I go to, I, I do everything that I've done and everything that I've acquired in my life. Absolutely. I worked for it. Yeah. Yeah. And the beautiful, and my dad, he's a type where he, it ain't go. It was never gonna be like that. Period. Because right. my dad's like, uh, uh-uh, no. Nope. You want sing? You want sing on a praise team? Show me in your house. Sing downstairs. Yeah. I want to hear you from up here. <laughs> Prove me that you can sing. Like it was never yeah. just oh oh yeah. my child is here. So mm-hmm. that's just like false assumptions are very very dangerous. It's it's dangerous. Yeah. It's a dangerous yeah. thing. And like, we should be be very intentional about not judging someone based yeah. on what you think. And based on what you see on social media yeah, or things yeah. like that. That's yeah. true. So All good. right, car, car. Yeah, car. that's good. No, go ahead. Okay, so what's something about you that surprises people when they first hear it? Say it again. What's something about you that surprises people when they first hear it? I don't know why people get so surprised that I can't cook. Like what about me? Hey. What about, no, because what about me will make you think that I can cook? I don't understand that. Literally. <laughs> they be like, I, I said, you... I don't know how to cook nothing. And they be like, really? No, why would you think I would just know how to cook? You just like, look like you can cook. See what I'm saying? You just look like you can cook. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean assumptions. Assumptions. I, and I think it's that you cook. give a southern yeah. accent. Yes. Yeah. yeah, maybe it is. That's southern I have a yeah. southern accent. Yeah. Everybody know that she cuts that I southern do. accent on like I it's do. nobody's business. <laughs> I do. I know how to turn it off and I know how to turn it on. But what about the stones? my grandparents and all my parents, like they can cook. I, I just was not blessed in that yeah. ministry. And that's okay. And that's all right. You know what? That's all right. No. We, we we have a lot of work to do our girls. Our next girls' night maybe some cooking lessons, maybe yeah. some cooking page yeah. up or the next. I don't okay. know what we gotta do, but we have some we have to wrap this up, ladies. I enjoyed my time with you all. Yes. I love you all. Love you. And I cannot wait for the next girl talk. Yes. 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 Bye. 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 Good night. This song is my testimony because I made it with Jesus on my side. Hallelujah. Troubles come, there they go again. But I won't move unless you say it can. Proving hell, ways available.
came and made me know Now I'm my best with you Oh yeah You came and made me know Oh yes you did Now I'm my best with you Everybody say yeah You came, you came, you came Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining Benita. You heard from these beautiful queens and they had some girl talk and meaningful conversation that I totally enjoyed. So I want you to stay tuned. We'll see you on Benita next week. And remember that God makes everything beautiful in his time. Let's go! <laughs>